good evening. My name is Tinashe. I'm from Zimbabwe. I'm going to take you on a short tour of Young Nation. Young Nation is a mobile news service that will provide street-level coverage and analysis of everyday stories left out of mainstream media. I am three years younger than Zimbabwe. Sometimes, when I look into the future, I'm scared. We live in a country ruled by old men with small minds, old men who cannot see beyond their short-term self-interest. Meet Joanna and her baby. She's an enterprising young mother who sells sweets and fruits on the street. She's an everyday hero, but her story is never told. Meet Uncle Richie. He turned his frustrations into a funny monologue that was shared on WhatsApp and went viral. Our stories are more than just about death, disease, and dictatorship. Young Nation is about bringing back young people into the news by owning their stories. Our focus is local, but our perspective is global. I had my first mobile phone when I was 23. Nobody I knew then had one or had, an, had, had access to a PC. Few had access to fixed line telephones. But today, mobile phones are a conduit for everything from emails to news to making payments. And these devices are not even cutting edge. So for, for this project to happen, we need the right technologies to harness our community together. And as you can see, 70% of our media is controlled by the government. Our content will go beyond cliches and propaganda. The Nigerian writer Chimamanda Adichie talks about the dangers of a, a single story, a single narrative. Our initial capital investment is modest, so this will take us through the air to pay our rentals and our lean team. And that is me. <laughs> in 2013, I was sitting in a hub that I co-founded with two friends. We wanted to bring together young techies and creatives to develop media solutions to our everyday problems. I'm inspired by the I'm inspired to a point of desperation by the dogged, though brutalized humanity of those among whom I grew up, their actual lives, the way they flinch and do not flinch to the, to the blows dealt out to them day by day. These are the ones who influence me through their pain, joys, and betrayals. Africa needs a committed journalism that bears witness, and that responsibility is up to us young people. So welcome to Zimbabwe. Thank you. Question? Somebody have a question for? Oh, great. Just use the mic. People online can hear. Thanks. Hi, I'm just wondering how you plan to capture these voices uh, that are not being heard today, and how will they be packaged and, and, and distributed? Thank you. Okay, so the, the project is sort of anchored on three pillars. So developing local content, distribution, and the physical space, the hub that I talked about. Um, so it's going to be mostly user-generated. So our hub will attract young filmmakers, young journalists, young writers, who are not currently employed. Uh, at the moment, we have 80% unemployment in Zimbabwe. And most of these young talents is just on the street. They're not doing anything. They don't have the right platforms. And this project will provide the platform, will provide resources and access to internet. Thank you. Thank you.